tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cleveland. So we over here at Vallejo Aquarium. Highly recommend it. So here I am. Let's check it out. All right, y'all. So let's get in here and see what they got. I wasn't quite sure whether or not they were going to let me record, but they let me record. So that's a good thing. All right. So as soon as you come in, the space is big. So off to the right, they got a bunch of different fish in here. They got some super dollars. They got a Severum. They got some, my also favorite buddy cough rod. They got two buddy cough rod cichlids in there. They got a green tear, a blue car. They got some used tanks off to the right. Over here to the left, they got some African cichlids. They got the blood parrots right here. Down below, they have some African cichlids. Some more Africans. Those are nice prices for those large African cichlids right there in Bunas. Like I said, all Africans over here. We do Boise, yellow, and I think it's a yellow line or something like that yellow band you know it's a trip how they change up from having black being all black or white spots to looking totally different with the yellow band there go the jaguar cichlids man of winds down below they got the dove eye ten dollars for the dove eye small dove eye fry too the buddy car fry look at them nine dollars for those you need some zebra tilapias look at that one that one's really nice zebra tilapia they got them here at vallejo aquarium those are some sevens right there. Down below, got some more African cichlids, some more ambunas. Over here, they got the goldfish, the orandas. Y'all like goldfish? Those are some pretty cool looking orandas. Only one in there was the one that I really liked, but not getting any goldfish anytime soon. They get 8 to 12 inches, just so you'll know. So the space, so I've been here a couple times. Actually, this is the second time I've been here. Um, so the first time I didn't record all the good up top. Got a nice display tank, panda frontosa, bunch of African cichlids. The rock work is amazing. Big fan of the rock work. That's the kind of rock work that I usually, you know, escape with. Lace rock. Look at that. Look how that rock be looking. That's why. That's why my tanks look so beautiful. Get that good intricate rock. Changes up the whole dynamic of your aquarium. Gotta love the, the saltwater fish. Look at this guy right here. Look at that. Man, look like Godzilla, huh? That's a large tessellata eel right there. I think he was only $150 too. Really good price. I, I spent 200 on mine and mine was small. Just make sure you got a big tank for him. Look at the patterns on these Tiger Oscars. Beautiful, beautiful. Some more African cichlids right here. Look at them. Pretty cool. Pink tail chalcias. Got some catfish. Got some, uh, some kind of little, um, Kerosene, Gar. I had one yellowtail. I had one jumped out. Jumped out. So make sure you have a tight fitting lid. Keep it heavy. That way you can keep your fish in your tank. More African cichlids right there. Down below. See, they got a lot of different fish, y'all. Sun cats. Sun cats get aggressive. Keep that in mind. Jewels and peacock. Dicers down here. Now look at the little blue silk. I don't know why they call it a blue silk instead of a Thai silk, but um, flower horns. They call them blue silk flower horns, 20 bucks. They got a couple of them for you. That's a cool fish right there. That was another, uh, looked like some type of flower horn maybe. Didn't really have any kind of name on the tank, so I couldn't tell. But yeah, these guys are nice. The blue with the red eyes, go fish. Fish all over the place. So they definitely got a lot of different options. The price is definitely right on most of these fish. Asian red tails, 
more all those all those tanks to the right all of those are saltwater fish look at that flower horn that nuchal hump on it look at this guy what is this that's a stunner right there uh-huh <laughs> Yeah, he's uh he's definitely definitely aggressive, I could tell. Some more little cichlids. Yeah, this is this is an interesting fish. Look like it's a some type of hybrid or something. Yeah. It's the only one that's interesting me so far. The patterns are like the managuins. Definitely. Got a nice flag tail in here with some um, zebra botia loaches. Those are cool. Those are definitely cool. And again, great prices. Great prices. Mm -hmm. Sorted mollies. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, come on by. Come check them out. So far, as you see, they got a lot of different options of fish for you. So, come on by. Check them out. And uh, I'm glad I went back. I'm glad I went back to check them out. I definitely will be back again. Vallejo Aquarium. Like I said, they, look at those. Those are nice. Ooh, those are nice. Some more Mbunas. What else? What else? Down below, got some, got some uh, frontosa, bunch of frontosa, yellow labs. Look at that, uh, pyara, right there. They call them a saber tusk, but look at that, look at that, uh, that Oscar. Crazy patterns on it. His lip was a little jacked, but looks like one of those blue Oscars. Like, I feel like his colors was a little bluish. Pretty sick looking Oscar. Nice patterns for sure. Like I said, if his lip wasn't like that, probably would have bought him. Bunch of different red doubles down there. Let's see what else he got. Puffer, hawkfish, down below, purple tang, fox face, hippo tang, nasso tang, more African cichlids. They got a lot of African cichlids here, y'all. They got a lot. Those are peacocks up in here. Some nice guppies. So it's about time to decide on what we're going to get. Definitely need to see what we're gonna get up out of here. Look at the little tiger shovel nose. Those might be the hybrids though. Clown loaches, angel fish. All right, let's see, let's see. Nearing the end, all salt water. I'm not getting anything salt water today. So let's go ahead and. How's it going, man? Hey, you have a big fish over there. I want to know how much it is. Well, actually, I need to know what kind it is first. That's one right here. What is it? So it's uh, I don't want to make some other questions. 
Okay, okay. How much is he? How much is he? 50 bucks. So we have a bunch of them too. Oh, okay, yeah. They're red devil mixed with uh, red Texas. Red Texas. Yeah. yeah, I think I think I want this one. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I'll take them. Okay. Yes, sir. God damn, that's a that's a big bison. Man, have y'all ever seen a bison that big? No, I haven't. Look at the hybrids back there. The arowana. That arowana is small compared to Kobe. But look at the hybrids, the Red Devil Texas hybrids. They look a little crazy. But yeah, this bicer is nice. We definitely might need that. I don't know. It'll look good in that 800 gallon though. I love the markings on this fish. And uh, like I said, he's large. Really, really large. Deserves at least this 800 gallon pine definitely deserve to be in the 2000 once we uh, we build that like I said probably 2500 I'm gonna go bigger than the 2000 but over here they got some corals they got plants definitely got some nice plants I'm pretty sure the price is right on them so we're gonna go over here take a look and see what else they got check out back here they got some small hippo tangs down below they got some more beautiful saltwater fish off to the left they got all the escaping materials look at all the uh, foods salt water salt water or actually a salt over here all the other items that you would ever need for your aquarium so filters and medications and air pumps all that good stuff and then here's the lace rock look at it two dollars a pound that's how you make your tanks beautiful right there. Grab you some of that lace rock. Most fish stores will have it, so now you know. Over here, they got aquariums for sale. Let's see what this largest one is. 135 gallon. Guess that's pretty big, pretty big. All right, let's get back over here. So let's take a look at these hybrids again hybrids were nice one is clearly the aggressor that's the, the real aggressor in the aquarium see the blues yeah the blues are nice so yeah you could definitely see that uh that that's a texas cichlid and you could kind of like you could kind of like peep the 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 red the red devil in it as well the shape is definitely different than a normal texas cichlid the other ones are kind of getting uh, getting picked on a little bit by that big one. I was thinking about getting this big one too, but I can't really get over the look of it. It don't really, it's not a nice looking fish to me. It's a nice size, the aggression and all that. You know, it meets the parameters of my aquarium, but I look at the Soho tank. But yeah, just don't really work. Don't really work. But if you need one, come, come check them out. And this Soho tank, I had to record him because this is a beautiful fish. I love the Soho tank. I want to get one again. They are definitely expensive, and this is the biggest Soho tank I've ever seen. But yeah, come on by, check them out. You won't regret it. So yeah, they were cool. Had some good prices. That Bicher was insane, huh? So uh, we picked up one of those Red Devil Slash Texas hybrids. Let's get home. All right, y'all, so next day, I didn't record acclimating him or putting him inside the tank, but here it is. And this is not the Red Devil slash Texas cichlid. This is definitely the Red Devil slash Managuan cichlid. Look at the jag patterns on this fish. It's an absolute stunner right here. The face is kind of cool because it has that Red Devil face. I see those canines coming in. Coming in on the bottom. 
So I just got him in this smaller tank just to acclimate him, make sure he's free of any kind of pathogens, any kind of uh, internal parasites, external parasites. Make sure that he's eating before I put him into his um, new home. Still got to find a place for him. He is definitely aggressive. I don't know if it's a male or female. I keep calling it a he. But uh, nonetheless, definitely aggressive. And look at those canines right there coming in. This is a beautiful fish right here. And those canines is definitely indicative of what the managuins typically have. The Perichromus species, the Dovi, the, the managuins, they have those canines. But look at that red devil face. And he said this one was the red devil slash managuins. I showed you in the front tank the red devil slash Texas cichlid where the big bicher was. Totally different looking fish. Different body shape, all of that. You can see the jag. You can see the managuins patterns on his fish. Yeah, so we got a, we got a new hitter, y'all. They only had one of these in the pet store, and we got him. You could almost say he's one of a kind. I've heard about these fish, but I've never seen one this big, and I've actually never seen one in person. I've just seen at quite a collection. They were selling them, but they were all gone, and they were small. So we lucked up. Look at, look at all that aggression. Look at that personality on this fish. I'm not even bothering him. I'm just standing here recording. Yeah. Like I said, the guy made sure he informed me that this was an aggressive fish. I was like, it'll fit right on in then. That's all we keep is aggressive fish. But yeah, definitely, definitely a beautiful new addition to the channel. All right, thank you for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Make sure you share. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. All right, y'all. So we almost at 20K. We almost at 20K. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share the content. Help us get to that 20K. Also, follow us over on TSD with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel behind the scenes. You get to see all the behind the scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.